Hey guys, uh, Adam here for Pixelated Photographer. I recently had to make some setting changes here in uh, Lightroom and I thought it would be a good subject for a video. Um, the one I'm looking at specifically are kind of the defaults or the starting point for the develop module. And this is just how I do it. There's a couple ways you can go about it, but if we, if we go in there, you can see we're in Lightroom. Some uh, recent images I took. If we just pick one here, we go to develop module. Uh, what I'm looking to do is change basically the starting point for these panels and you can make them any of them it works in all the panels. So <clears throat> these settings are going to be applied to any picture that you bring in. So obviously things like exposure or highlights, any of these basic adjustments, you would not want to change. You would want them to be zeroed out because you don't necessarily want to make those to every picture you bring in here. Uh, the, the ones that I do are detail and lens correction. So if I go to lens correction, I'd like to use the profile. So I make sure that that check mark is checked. You can see the effect it has there. It corrects for some distortion, different things like that. I'd like to make sure that's on. So I check that. Everything looks fine there. I close it. The next one is the detail panel. This is where I apply kind of my basic sharpening and noise reduction. And I do this to every image I bring in. So it, rather than these be zeroed out, I want the starting point to be these settings that I have in there now. And I can still come down obviously at any point and uh, tweak them. But for now, I want these to all be where every picture I bring in the develop module starts with these. Uh, so I set my settings where I want, set the noise reduction where I want. I have my lens correction set. All the rest of uh, the settings here are all zeroed out. There's no other changes made in here. There's no, you know, adjustments in the basic, no adjustments, um, any of the other panels. So how you do that then is you come up and you go to develop and you say set default settings. Uh, you have a choice here. You can restore the defaults, uh, the Adobe defaults, the ones that came with the program, or you can update the current settings to be the new default. And you can see here that this is specific for the camera model. Um, so if you, if you use different camera bodies, you can have different default or starting positions for each of the bodies. And actually, if I cancel out of here and we go up to edit preferences under the, uh, presets tab here, there's a box for default develop settings, and it actually gives you a little bit more control. Um, the last two here make default specific to camera serial number and make default specific to camera ISO settings. So when you update these and again you go in and you change them and you go to develop set defaults uh, if you check those two boxes it will not only be specific to the camera body it will be specific to that serial number so if you worked with several different cameras and you wanted to have different settings for each one you could do it that way by checking that box same thing with the ISO and where this comes in handy is maybe if you had uh, really nailed down your noise reduction for your camera at different ISOs. So you could go in there, if you check that, uh, use different defaults for ISO, you could go through and, and have a setting for noise reduction for ISO 100 and a setting for ISO 200 and 400 and 800 and whatever ISOs you typically use. And that way, whenever you import a file, it would look at the metadata, see what ISO it was shot at, see what body it was shot at, maybe get as specific as which serial number it was shot at, and change what these starting positions or defaults are. I don't get that deep with it. I kind of just leave it as general, but it certainly has a lot of custom uh, ability to be customized in there. So. Anyway, you would restore the defaults to uh, Adobe, which is a good thing to do if you ever think you screwed something up. Maybe you adjusted something that you didn't necessarily think. You can come back here, restore it to the Adobe defaults, and kind of start fresh. Bring in an unedited, fresh picture. Uh, make the changes that you want to have to be the new default. Come in here and click Update Current Settings, and they will be saved. Then every picture you bring in will have those, uh, those settings applied to it. So... My little way of uh, doing it, you can do it via uh, a normal preset if you wanted that you could apply an import. I personally, I'd like to have the, uh, the default develop settings just kind of done and taken care of and I don't have to think about it at all. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and uh, make sure to check out the site, pixelatedphotographer.com. Thanks.